Ladies, welcome. Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Oh, I have to remind myself that I have to look there, not here. Oh my god. Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Linda, I am your host on Linda's channel. Well, not actually welcome back, is it? Because if it all goes well, this should be my first speaking video. How do we feel about that? I have to be honest, I'm quite nervous. I've been watching YouTube for... Mm, since I was 12 and I'm 24 now. And I'm not professional at all. If you're looking for professionality, professionalism, don't come here, don't come here. Oh, I just started, excuse me. What are we doing today? Today we're doing some dewy, chewy, some chewy makeup. Why do you ask? No reason, absolutely no reason. I have been sitting in this room since March. I haven't seen a single so well, that's not true. I haven't seen very few people, I have been very few places, and I feel a little bit shit. I have to be honest, I feel a little bit shit, and I feel, I, I think we all feel a, a little bit shit during these trying times. So I thought, why not put on, put on some makeup for absolutely no reason? And I know for a fact that today that I don't have to do anything, I don't have to see anyone, this makeup is gonna turn out amazing but when i actually need it yeah it actually turns out like shit because that's how the cookie crumbles oh by the way should i tell you which products i'm using i am using revolution pro you see that revolution pro in the shade f1 because i am a pale gal i am very pale so if you like me are like a victorian child who's battling scurvy you might want to try that what is the secret though i use this it's not actually a foundation it's more of a, like of a bb cream so the the coverage is not that great what i do is i slather it on as you can see, without meaning, without meaning or mad, what's that saying? Without meaning or madness? Without, anyway, okay. So I splatter it on and I wait for it to dry a little bit. Because that way, if it's a little bit dry, the coverage increases a little bit and it gets, it gets a little bit better. And I use one of these brushes, the, the flat top one. The flat top, look at this, it looks like, oh my god, it looks like the top of, uh, what's his name, Miley Cyrus' father in the 80s. Remember when he had that military haircut? Oh my god, what's that called? The mullet, the mu but that was a strong fucking mullet. I was thinking of getting one, but not, uh, not a Billy Ray Cyrus mullet, I was thinking more of a Keith Richards mullet. Patty Smith mullet, you know what I mean? When it's like, pfft. so while I wait for this to dry, I have to remind myself that I have to look there. I have to look at you. <laughs> so why? So while we're waiting for this to dry, how are you guys doing? How are you doing? I have to be honest, and I think you can tell by the fact that I have started a YouTube channel. I'm not doing that hard. I am tired. I am depressed. Yes, aren't we all during these uh, during these times? And I am supposed to write my thesis. That's right. I'm at the end of my university career, and I have absolutely no mos motivation to finish it because I don't know. I'm not doing that hot, as I said. But how are you guys doing? How is school going? I okay. I should really start going with this blending this in I was talking about this with someone the other day let me see how it turns out oh yeah oh yeah it's ready it's ready as I said I was talking about this with someone the other day and I don't even want to imagine what it would have been like if I was still were still in high school during this time because it is insane. 
but I cannot imagine. I stabbed myself in the eye, can you tell? I stabbed myself in the eye, Oh! As I said, I cannot imagine what it's like to sit in, uh, on, a, on a chair in front of a computer for six hours a day with no breaks and having homework on top of that. Like, I would have gone mad. So I hope you guys, I hope you guys are fine. I hope you guys are fine. I hope you are getting nine hours of sleep. I really hope that. How is this turning out on camera? Oh, nice, nice. And as I predicted today, because I don't have to go anywhere, it's turning out amazing. Oh, and as you can see, I'm not dragging it. I'm not dragging, I'm more like, you know, I'm using a brush like I would use a beauty blender. And I think we are done. Yay. Look at that. Oh, look at the material. <laughs> oh, my bags. Look at my bags. What are they? Prada? Valentino? What are they? TJ Maxx? More like it. Oh my god, this is amazing! Oh wow! This is great. I haven't used that that foundation in a while. But this is actually great. So, once again, Revolution Pro shade F1 for our fellow Victorian children with scurvy. Oh, by the way, I have I have my coffee. I have completely forgotten about it. Mm, my, I, I am betting my accent is all over the place, all over the place because <laughs> maybe you can tell, but I am not, I'm not British, British, and I'm not American either. I am Italian, I am Italian, and my accent is all over the place. I hope you guys don't mind. Based on my mood, on a specific day, my accent changes. Today, today I'm British, yeah? Today I'm British. Right, what do we do now? I've spent so much time on complexion, what, what do I do now? Okay, the skin is great. Should I move on to concealer? No, no, I'm not actually doing concealer because every time I put on concealer under my eyes, I look like data. I look like data every, every, <laughs> Every spot of color from my face is wiped out and I look like data from fucking Star Trek. So I'm not doing that. I think I will move on to blush. I love blush. I love blush, you guys. And I am using Astra Blush Me. Every product I have is the cheapest of the cheapest because I can't afford anything else. Oh, by the way, I use a lot. I use a lot because I want to make people think that I actually go outside and we put it, well, I put it <laughs> on all the places where I, I would get burnt if I had been in the sun. So top of the nose, the highest points of the cheeks. And I basically use it as a bronzer because being so pale, Using any bronzer, it's gonna be orange no matter what. So it's gonna be orange on you. Unless you buy that Fenty one, which is for the pale gals, but I cannot afford it. So I go around the problem by using blush. You can put it on your eyelids. You can do whatever you want. The makeup is fun because you can do whatever you want. Oh, by the way, I wanted to ask you guys, uh, is our makeup video still a thing on YouTube? Because after the Armageddon 2.0, you know, the second one, I got fed up with literally every single person in the makeup community. I don't watch anyone. And you might be wondering, why are you making a makeup video then? Because I love it. I love it. I just hate the community because it's just petty people. And I'm not about that. I mean, what about blending pigments on your face makes you want to say the N-word? <laughs> but I also feel like, I mean, 
the makeup community, makeup videos in the last few years have really become almost like television. I know that a very well produced makeup video is what is the standard now, but I think that takes away the you know, the original experience that YouTube was supposed to be. You know, YouTube, it's you. It's you in your room, like I am now, doing whatever you want. And if you put cameras and lights and producers and editors, it's, it's TV. It's no more YouTube, it's TV. So I would rather watch something that it's less produced, but it's more authentic than, than a fucking Netflix special. You know what I mean? Do you know what I mean, brother? Do you know what I mean? Okay, are we done with this blusher? Oh no. I think we're done. I think we're done, okay. I'm gonna put more right here because I want to use it, as I said, as a bronzer. And I'm gonna use it to chisel out my face. Yes. Yes, that's happening. Do y'all watch Juno Birch? She is amazing. And she's so beautiful out of drag also. I saw her video uh, that she did with Vogue. She is, oh my God, so beautiful and so stylish. She's like, if Sophia Loren had come from outer space, she is great. And now we're gonna move on to highlighter. I have exactly the same Kiko, but in the shade, 100 and it's this champagne color you know the classic highlighter boom 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 wherever you want i know people you uh also put it on the chin and uh on your cupid's bow i never do that because i am a sweaty bitch if i put highlighter in those two places i look at, like i have run a marathon and we don't want that now, now we take a little brush, whatever brush you want actually, and we take a powder. What do I use? I use this. I don't know, I, don't, I think I stole this from my mom. I think I stole this from my mom. We're gonna take this. You guys see me? You guys see me? I think my, you guys are standing on a pile of books and I think I put you too high and you can't see what I'm doing with my hands anyway. Next video is gonna be better, okay? This video, next video is gonna be better. I'm gonna actually look in the camera, you know what I mean? Oh, I'm feeling myself. I am feeling myself. What do I do now? Oh, brows, I do brows. I was thinking the other day, yeah. If I have a win an Oscar, the only people I would thank would be, yeah, my mom and dad, of course. But I think I would thank, above all, Kira Knightley. Because half of the female population nowadays is gay because of her. And I am too. I am too. Kira Knightley in Pirates of the Caribbean is a cultural reset a sexual awakening in a good way, in the best way possible. She becomes king. Shut up. She becomes king of the pirates. Okay, you guys, comment down below. Which, which Kira Knightley movie turned you gay? I think mine was, okay, Pirates of the Caribbean, as I said, but I think my heart, belongs to atonement. It is a cinematic masterpiece. And if you guys haven't read the book, I highly recommend it. Because <laughs> Byron, uh, which is Sir Ronan's character, is possibly even more annoying in the book. Oh my God, that green dress girl. That green dress, it lives in my head rent free. By the way, I'm digressing. I am using, once again, a Kiko product, a 122. I think this is, this is discontinued. It is this taupey, yeah. It's a pale gal color. 
you see the theme here? It's a pale gal color and I'm using it on my brows. And I'm concentrating it at the front because I'm actually gonna use a darker color for the tail. All right, is that okay? Let's see. Let's brush them, yeah? Okay, this might be all right. Yeah, I'm gonna put a little bit of dark color at the tail and then I'm done. Okay. <laughs> They're doing construction in the in the house in front of me and I'm so afraid they're gonna see me. I am filming this. I, I feel like a thief. I feel like a fucking thief. I'm filming this while I'm home alone. I have closed all the windows. <laughs> I'm here like a fraud filming a video. Ugh. Okay, I think I'm done. I mean, good enough for me. Good enough for staying inside and sitting at this desk. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, now we're gonna do my favorite part. We're gonna use soap. We're gonna use soap. I love soap brows. They get so bushy. They get so fluffy, and I do it a little, a little bit differently. Instead of spraying the fix, the fixing spray right on the on the bar of soap, I spray the spoolie, right, and then I take the soap and I go like this. I made the mistake once of I didn't want to use mascara, and Ooh, I'm <laughs> sorry. Ugh. And with the soap that was left on this spoolie, I used it on my lashes. And then my eyes watered and I had soap in my eyes. And my eyes were red for four hours. So yeah, don't use soap on your, <laughs> on your lashes. I learned that the hard way. Okay, I like these. I like these, okay. What do I do now? Oh my god, I usually I do this whole routine in 10 minutes and, I, and I've been filming for 26. <laughs> and I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Oh, okay. If you wanna go ham on a feature of your face, go ham on the brows. Go ham on the brows because they really frame everything about your face. Okay, the, uh, God, sisters not twins, am I right? Sisters are not twins. Okay, what do I do now? Oh, lashes, lashes, of course. I curl them, so if you don't wanna see this, look away now. The worst part about this, it's not even curling your lashes, it, but it's when <laughs> the skin here gets trapped in it and it pulls and it really, really hurts. Okay, done, done, done. I'm trying to finish this video immediately because I have to film another one. You guys, I'm filming another video. If you guys wanna see it, the next video that you see on this channel is gonna be a book video because reading and buying books is my only personality trait. And if you wanna see me talk about books, Wait for the next video. Oh yeah, what am I using? Uh, Astra, Astra, you see that? Insta, hashtag, Insta length. This is amazing, this is amazing. Let's go, let go. Boom, boom, boom. Let me use my mirror, yeah? God, I'm annoying, God, I'm annoying. Right? Right, okay. I'm not putting on lashes because as I said, I will be sitting at this desk for the rest of the day. Should I put it on? No, 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 no. Because I'm gonna end up looking like Alex from fucking... Uh, what's the name of that movie? Clockwork Orange. Clockwork Orange. I've never seen it. I have read the book. The book is amazing. The book is... Uh, <laughs> Don't ask, don't ask. This was, oh my God. This was a crayon that I bought. 
but it's one of those crayons that are really thick and really big and it do didn't fit in the in the sharpener so i had to extract the pigment oh don't ask honestly don't ask we're gonna go like that mm -hmm. okay nice isn't she pretty i think she is then you guys know all the bad bitches know clear gloss clear gloss ah uh, how do we look Woo! Are we feeling it because i oh let me yeah let me give you the full fantasy let me find my my fringe Isn't she the cutest? So, you guys, we are done. I have... Oh, God. It is gonna be so bad. But it's my first. It's my first video. I swear to you I'm gonna get better. I'm actually gonna look in the camera. Actually, the next video that I'm gonna make, I'll try and film the other way around. Like, with the actual camera and not the front-facing one. I'll try. I'll try. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. I hope you get nine hours of sleep tonight. I really hope you do. And I'll see you next time. Bye.